Welcome back to my channel. Today is the fourth installment of what watercolor single pigment colors do I have in my palette. And today we are looking at violets. I have I think 28 violets in my palette, but as we learned in the blues video, I apparently did not count accurately, so this will be an exciting adventure. My violets range from like hot pinks to deep, deep purples, and so I think it's gonna be really interesting to look at them all on this, the same page and sort of see how they all look together. So I'm gonna get into la labeling this sheet and then we will swatch them all out. All right, the page is labeled and we are ready to go. We are starting with White Knight's Violet, which is PW3. It is a very, very purple violet. Not my favorite, not my least favorite, but it is very purple. Next, we have Windsor Newton Cobalt Violet, which I probably should have wet ahead of time. This is it. This is it. Actually, I'm going to wet this. And I'm going to wet this. Because both of those are cobalts, and I'm going to need a second. Rowan Small Cobalt Violet. Deep. I want to say you're that. Nope, that's dioxazine. Do that. Nope, that's mineral. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I might actually need the swatch book for this one. Well, I was never going to find it. I was looking in the wrong section. So we're going to start with the Windsor Newton Cobalt Violet because it's had a minute to sit while I figured out where this color was. It's pretty rare that I don't have an app have any clue where color is, but the Roman Skulls Cobalt Violet Deep, I had absolutely no idea. This is Cosmic Creations Petal, which is another Cobalt Violet. I don't think this color is listed in the shop anymore. It was a pretty early test color for Laura, and she's reformulated her mats since this color was released. The Roman Small one is actually down a tray, and in my more pink, purple, violet colors. And I would definitely say it fits. It's, well, it's sort of blue. Like, it's, it was a hard color to swatch and sort. Imperial purple. This which is a PV, PV-15. It's a very purple purple. But it's got, like, I don't love it for whatever reason. I theoretically should love it. Like, it's a brilliant shade of purple. It's just not right for whatever reason. And then we have Ultraviolet 2021. I forgot to put the 2021 which is a different version of PB15 from Artistic Isle. That's sort of slightly more blue. Sort of reminds me a bit of like crushed blueberries. White Knight's Ultramarine Violet was the very first Ultramarine Violet I ever got. And I absolutely love it. It's very pale compared to other Ultramarine Violets but it's very pretty. But it is significantly paler than either of these two. Then we have Winter and Newton Smalt. Nope, that's Tumble Blue. Schmingay. Oh, I just did fabulous job of filling that pan. Sometimes I look at a pan and go, I couldn't have filled that myself. It had to be from somebody else. And no, it was actually a pan of my paint. Smalt is very, very blue compared to all of the others. And I'm obsessed with it. It is one of my favorite colors. It was a new release from Windsor Newton. I think it might have been a 2022 release. I was not personally able to find them until 2023. 
that doesn't really mean they didn't come out before then. It sometimes just takes a bit for paints to appear on the Canadian market. And in all honesty, in 2022, I wasn't paying a whole bunch of attention to art news or as much as I was paying in 2023. Equinox by Cosmic Creations is her version of a PB PV. These are violets, not blues. PV15. I like the moodiness of Laura's quite a lot. If I could get like a mix between Equinox and Smalt, I'd be very happy. Windsor Newton Permanent Mauve. I want to see this on the end. It's a very ugly pen. Yeah, this is how my pants normally look, which is why this very perfect in comparison pan of Smalt threw me for an absolute loop. Permanent Mauve is PV16. It is the only PV16 I have in my palette. I don't know why I have it. I think I just liked it. <laughs> I think I liked it and it was what my store had in stock. It was one of those, well, I've made it all the way here. They didn't have what I wanted in stock. And so I'm at least getting something. And this was the something I got. Because, like, locally I can get Daniel Smith. But if I want anything other than Daniel Smith, like, it's an adventure to a very large art store. That's not a Michaels. Roman Small's Quinacridone Red. It's over here. I used it for, I think, all of the Schmincke videos. It was the Quinacridone or the PV19 I chose. It's mostly because it's cheap and I didn't want to use an expensive one in all those mixes, but it's also quite pretty. It's probably my favorite quinacridone red or quinacridone violet. I just like it quite a lot. The Michael Wilcox version. It's here. And then on one side it's got Daniel Smith, and on the other side it's got uh, Da Vinci. And I can never remember which goes where. I would say the Michael Wilcox like initially feels more pot pink, but I can't remember if it dries flatter. I think it does. Does this book tell me which one's on which side? So this is Dana Smith. Oh yeah, I like the Daniel Smith. The Daniel Smith one is sort of like if Quinn Magenta had a baby with a hot pink. It's the best way I can describe it. That page is wet. I do have part of a tissue. And then the Da Vinci version is, I want to say, a little, like, darker, maybe more red. Yeah, that tracks. So the Daniel Smith version is very sort of hot pink. The uh, Michael Wilcox and the Da Vinci are both quite pink, and then the Quinacridone Red from Roman Small just sort of falls in the middle. But we have one more, and this is a new addition to my palette, and I have no idea where it is. So where is Cranberry? If I were Cranberry, you are next to Berg Bro. And I know where that is. It's here, which means you're up here. It's your cranberry. And it is dark in comparison, which makes me think that Berg Bro might be as well. But he doesn't offer, Jasper Stardust doesn't offer his pigment information on it. So I have no idea what it is. But that PV19 is a lot darker. 
Then we have sour grapes, which is here. It's a PB23. It's sort of like when you think purple, the color you think, it's a very blue violet and is definitely that like stereotypical purple color or traditional purple color. Schmincke Violet is, I don't know what pan you're in. Schminkes are hard because some of my schminkes are in poured pans and some of them are in weird pans. And it's hard to keep track of what's in what. Equinox. Schminke Violet. Schminke Violet's in a weird pan. By weird pans, I mean the fact that schminke pans from the factory, their half pans are shorter than any other pan that I've got in my palette. And so, like, they look sort of odd in my palette. They're slightly wider and they're shorter. There's Schmingay Violet. And then we have Pansy, which is another Cosmic Creations PB23. Laura does a pretty good variety of single pigment colors. She's a big proponent of mixing your own colors. I am not. I am her voice of all the fun granulating colors. Make make convenience colors. And Laura is learn how to mix. Um, one of the very first things Laura said to me once we became friends was that I needed to learn how to mix. I have, I just don't enjoy it unless I'm doing it for a very specific purpose. I am looking for Roman small Paraline Violet. It happens to be here. Paraline Violet, I have a love-hate relationship with. I love, I love the color. Like I love the dark red when it goes down on paper wet and I don't like how it dries. And so I've tried three and I don't like any of the three and I think I'm done trying new versions. Unless somebody has a truly fantastic version. And yeah, White Knights and then Daniel Smith. Unless somebody has a truly fantastic version, I think I'm done trying new variations because I don't like how it dries. White Knight's version is significantly lighter, but they all still sort of dry and just feel flat, which I don't love. But I love, I love this moody color when it goes down onto the paper, like, and I love that, like, I just don't like how it looks dry. The Daniel Smith one's probably my least favorite of the three. Roman Small Dioxazine Violet. Mineral Violet. There's the Dioxazine Violet. It is a PV37. I don't notice a huge difference but just in color what tone between PV37s and some PV23s. There probably is a really big difference. One just feels like slightly pinker to me without like the crazy difference that you get in some colors. Then we have Cause Paints Dioxazine Violet. Which is much, much more blue. <laughs> Paint around a lot of Badly. I'm painting around a water cup. Badly. Uh, I'd say of the two, I probably actually prefer the Roman Small, but we'll see how I feel about it once it's dry. Holbein Cobalt Violet Light. Now, I don't know why it didn't like occur to me that the Holbein one was a different color pigment number than the other Cobalt Violets I've had in my palette. 
I don't dislike it though. Like it's a great color. Um, I just need to do some more research to find out why it's not up there. I have a feeling there are two different versions of Cobalt Purple and Holbein has just chosen a different version. We have Quinacridone Violet. Oh, yes, Quinacridone Violet. Which I believe is there with Quinacridone Purple beside it. So this is Quinacridone Violet by White Knights and it is bright. This is a purple that knows that it's purple but also like wants you to know that it's not it's not going to be boring and flat like the purples above it like it's going to be bright and fun we have daniel smith quinacridone purple next to it daniel smith i think i tried this version first and both i'd say of all the paints in my palette that i have both from white knights and daniel smith these two are probably the closest. It's like some quinacridones, there's a huge variation, but these two, pretty similar. We have Mayan Violet, which I love. I don't know that it's different enough from quinacridone magenta from Daniel Smith to justify having both. I use to figure out what you are. Secura, which means you should be what I want. You are what I want. Uh, but it's a very pretty color. I just don't know that, like, if you already have Daniel Smith Quinn Magenta, you really need it. Like, there isn't a huge difference in color tone, there's just a difference in pigment number. It is pretty though. And then we have Schmincke Cobalt Violet Hue. The purple that was so hard to track down for this video series. And of course, now that I need it for another video, it is nowhere to be found. Schmincke Violet. I've already swatched it. I can't believe this. Of course, now that I need it for a video, I can't find it. Where should it be? Oh. Because I'm looking for a schminke pan and it's not in a schminke pan. It's hard to keep track of what schminkes are and what. Schminke cobalt violet hue up until I want to say three weeks ago, four weeks ago. No, it was back in the fall. Schminke was the only people that made this pigment. You could not buy it from a pigment supplier. I had people that checked. I talked to pigment suppliers. No one could get their hands on this pigment. Schminke had a monopoly. Roman Small has come in and changed that. And so I am interested to try the Roman Small version because I am not a huge fan of the Schmincke version, but I think part of my issue may be that I had bought it for the super granulating video series and it just sort of felt like a letdown. Like it didn't feel like it was different enough from some of the versions of PB of PV15. I think it just sort of felt like a left letdown. There are so many versions of PV15 that sort of seem really similar to this PV62 that I tried so hard to find this color. It was almost impossible to find. Like you couldn't track down even the pigment for a handmade shop to turn it into paint. I tried and then I got my hands on it and it just felt disappointing. So I'm interested to try the Roman small version to see if I feel the same way because I'm almost wondering if I won't because theoretically it's got what I like. Like it's got the granulation, it's the right tone of purple, 
it falls within the color palette that I like to paint. And I think my issue with it might have been that it was so hard to find by the time I was able to have it in my palette. I just didn't like it anymore. So I'm interested to try the Roman small version. Overall, Windsor Noon Cobalt Violet, Windsor Noon Smalt, Daniel Smith Quinacridone Rose, Cosmic Creations Cranberry, probably the Schmincke Violet. Now that it's dry, on this paper specifically, I really like the White Knights version. I really like the Roman Small version. I love this Holbein color. There's not a huge difference between these two. If you've got Quinacridone Magenta, you probably don't need this. They're very similar. Specifically, the PR the 208 version of Quin Magenta. I've got the wrong book. I think it's PR 208. It's not the PR 122 version that it's similar to. It's the other version. So which version is that? Oh, PR 202. If you've got the PR202 version, you probably don't need it, but if you've got the PR101 version, you can probably get away with having it. Schmincke Violet Hue. It's fun. It's used in a bunch of the super granulating colors. It's just an adventure, but it can fall flat if you've hyped it up a bunch or if, like you've spent a lot of time trying to track it down like I did. I think I I think it was the last color I got in the super granulating series and by the time I got it I was just sort of done so let me know what your favorite purples are do I have them I feel like I'm missing a significant amount of purples compared to some of the other palettes like it's sort of now that I've got all the purple swatched out like it feels like it needs rounding out it feels like I'm missing colors so let me know what your favorite purple pigments are. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help. I am nearly all the way to being monetized. And that would be absolutely amazing. Currently, any ads that you see, I don't get the revenue from. So I would really appreciate getting monetized in the next couple months. And thanks so much for watching.